Hi there, in this video I will talk about how you can create the bar chart. If you have seen my previous video, if I go up and show you, I have shown you the first video of Matplotlib and introduced to you, introduced you to the uh, basic plots using the plt.plot and all. So taking the second step and creating a bar chart, which is again a basic chart, uh, gets created for pretty much every different kind of analysis that you are producing to see the sometimes the comparison of, among the different categories or there is a stack bar chart to see the percentage difference between two categories and sometimes group chart. So first of all, let's see uh, how you can create a basic bar chart. So before I do that, we will import the library which is matplot, matplotlib.yplot splt and I will use the percentage matplotlib inline. So as I suggested in my first video, matplotlib inline is helpful in cases where you don't want to use plt.show function again and again whenever you are creating a new plot and this will help us creating the plot inline to our command. Okay, so I'm executing this. Now let's create uh, two different list so maybe x to represent the x axis uh, maybe um, two three five six seven okay five values and the y is equals to maybe 10 15 20 25 and 19 maybe press enter now you can create the bar chart with a very straightforward command which is I'll just delete this okay so I just press DD which is a shortcut to you know remove that extra you know indentation that was created so uh, to create a bar chart plt dot bar x comma y that's it and you have the bar chart now as you can see two three and it is seeing the values in the continuation and basically trying to see that whether for value 4 uh, it is uh, there is a value or not so either uh, one thing that you can do is maybe for this basic example let's not go into the complexity and create a value which is 4 so 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 10 15 25 19 add one more value maybe 17 and create it all right so here we have our very simple bar chart okay now the next thing is uh, in a bar chart you always want to create you know some sort of label so which is more or less like a label for the for this uh, particular uh, chart so what we have is basically plt dot title our first bar chart and that's how it will create the bar chart similarly if you want to give the labels to the x and y you will use the x label and uh, this is x labels text simply because we are not showing similarly and you have y label so since we don't have a business context we are using the arbitrary way text values y labels text so here you have x label y level similarly if you see you have a lot of different properties like if i start with the x you have x label x limit x scale x ticks so we'll see uh, as and when the need will arise uh, to create the labels but uh, this is how for any chart like previously we created the line chart and you want you know the labels over here and here you can easily you know create those labels and with the help of the title you can create the title as well now let's say um, you have the requirement where you need to create the multiple bar chart related to this so one thing is uh, to create the dummy values so so maybe x2 and create the value maybe a similar two three four five six seven and y two 
is different values maybe 15 25 19 16 and 18 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 5 and 6 all right uh, let's enter and plt dot par x2 comma y2 and let's enter so this is how you will get your bar chart but as you can see there is a problem and the problem is that in some cases the blue is not uh, getting a proper value so for 5 the value is 25 for the y and that's why it is coming over here but here in case of y2 one so the 5 value is around 16 as you can see so that's why you are able to see so whenever the first y value is more than the second y value you are able to see the chart but uh, if it is less than that then you are not able so here in this case it is 15 it has completely overlapped the first value which is 10 okay so in my view there are two different ways by which you can overcome this issue so the first thing is uh, using the alpha value so alpha is basically you know the transparency so point so completely the alpha is 1 so it's anywhere between 0 to 1 and uh, if I specify alpha value as 0.5 and similar the alpha value as 0.5 and press enter you will see the output a little bit in a better context right and uh, maybe what we can do is uh, to get a proper representation we can even get the legends so our legend is not applied because labeled object is not found as it is saying so let's give it a label first chart and label second chart let's see this okay this gives some error let's quickly figure it out what this unknown property l a b l e so i made a mistake while writing it l a b e l okay so now we got it so the first bar chart the second bar chart and wherever you know the the grayer area over here or the darker area on the second bar chart indicates that it is the first bar chart so that's one of the way by which you can overcome this issue another way you can overcome with this issue is uh, using the width property so let's say width and width w i t t h yeah the spelling is and right now the width is same by default the width value is 0.8 as per the documentation so i'll try and experiment it with i'll make the first width value is 0.9 and the second width value as 0.7 and let's see what happens okay now we get a better presentation so alpha is removed and clearly we are able to see that first chart is over here and second chart is over here uh, they are getting overlapped but as you can see with the help of it it's clearly representing that when the first chart is getting finished and whenever you know the second chart is surpassing where it is surpassing so i think uh, this is a more cleaner way to represent uh, similar types of problem if you are facing it and uh, get your presentation in a much better way so the next piece or the next set of information i want to give you is about uh, how you can resize your chart because right now as you can see uh, there are a lot of values and it's a bit uh, you know squeezed up uh, here in this space of bar chart the boundaries so what you can do is uh, you have something called plt dot figure and within that you can give the fix size and this is a tuple so so we specify let's say 10 comma 5 in this case and press shift enter and as you can see this is 
bit good. Maybe we can do 15, let's say, much better. Okay, so that's about how you can change the figure size, how you can use the alpha or the width property. Depends on what makes sense uh, in your case and get the output. Okay, so that's about uh, your first bar chart. I think we made a pretty good success with how we can make it impactful. And I will meet you in a new video with some new type of bar chart.